I'm trying to hide my ashy elbow so y'all don't see it and judge me. Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an eyeshadow tutorial review first impression of the new Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes. Pat McGrath did recently launch a new eyeshadow palette. I did pick up the black version, but it does come in pink as well. And girl, I am so excited to play around with this palette. One of the shades in this palette just really sold me, and once I saw it, I could not stop thinking about it. I literally set up my email to remind me so I could pick this up as soon as it launched. I love the sleek black look of it, and it has a nice gold back. I love the Pat McGrath brand. I love the feel of it. It's like black luxury, and it's beautiful, amazing. Everything she comes out with is bomb. So this is the inside of the eyeshadow palette and it just looks so pretty and every single shade is amazing. I did swatch every shade so y'all can see what it looks like and I'm gonna do this eye look. Before you get into the video, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, click subscribe down below and also give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and comment down below your favorite shade in this eyeshadow palette. Let me know your favorite shade. <laughs> so let's get into the tutorial. I'm gonna start with this Dermablend Insta Grip Jelly Primer. It's one of those grippy primers so it's very sticky which is actually supposed to be really good to help keep your makeup in place. And it doesn't have any claims for oily skin which I do have so what I'm gonna do is add some of my mattifying primer. I'm gonna use the Revlon um, Prime Plus mattifying primer. You can use any mattifying primer that you have. And I'm gonna put this one on my T-zone, that way that area could be more matte because I need that. Um, it is really hot outside today. I definitely need to control my oils. It's one of those types of days. Okay? Mom, if you need something, tell me to go get it. Okay, cool, thank you. I'm gonna use this Derma Blend powder right here to set my face. This is in warm saffron. Oh, this is really gripping onto the primer. Look, I love that. And then a little bit on my forehead. For foundation today, I'm gonna mix my Pat McGrath foundation with this Urban Decay Naked Skin. I really love this Naked Skin foundation. And since I'm Zoe and Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette, I figured I would use her foundation. And I have this one in the shade Deep 29. I'm really not sure if this is my perfect, perfect match. So this is the little mixture I made. I love the Pat McGrath foundation whenever I mix it with other foundations. On its own, it's just not enough coverage for me because I have a lot of um, acne scarring and just like sunspots. So I do like a fuller coverage foundation. This color looks very intense, but don't you worry, we'll fix that. I'm gonna use two concealers today. The Makeup Forever Concealer in shade 52 first. Um, this is like close to my skin tone. It's gonna help like conceal my dark spots and under eye like darkness. Blend this out. <laughs> I'm gonna use a little of uh, 45 because this one is gonna give me a nice under eye highlight. So this is a little bit lighter. I'm gonna take this Black Radiance uh, foundation stick. This one is in Cocoa Bean. I'm gonna add a little bit of that here. It's not as dark as I thought it was gonna be, but I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, a little bit of contour. Just blend this in. I'm gonna blend this in so that it doesn't leave any harsh dark lines on my face. Where am I going, you may ask? Nowhere. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go back into the Derma Blend powder and I'm just gonna set my under eye with this powder and just help everything stay where I put it. <laughs> Something is in my eye and it's bothering me. Just add a little bit down here. 
So I'm gonna let that set and I'm gonna start using the palette. So this is the new Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette. Once again, this is the eyeshadow palette from Pat McGrath Girl. This palette is so beautiful. Honestly, this color right here is what sold me. I feel like some of you guys may wanna see swatches, so I'm gonna swatch the shades so y'all can see what it looks like. I'm just gonna start up here and I do have the names. The palette does come with the shade names separately so I'm gonna just read out the names from this card. The first shade is called Skin Show Rose Opal. I'm gonna swatch it right here. Ooh, this is pretty. The next one is called Naked Blush and this is something I would put in my crease and I think it would look really nice. Ooh. Pretty, so pigmented. The pigment is unbelievable. Next we have Eleganza and she is looking very elegant. I love this color. Wow, this is pretty. This is such a beautiful shade. I didn't realize I was gonna love this shade so much but I definitely do love it a lot. Like I was not even paying attention to this shade but it looks so pretty swatch. Next we're gonna do Bronze Rose 005. I love her bronze shades. Like those are my favorites from her in the past so i know i'm probably gonna love this one. Ooh, yes honey give me the bronze i love it i love it i love it this is so pretty uh next we have gold lust number 001 and i can already tell this is gonna be pretty and it is it's so beautiful all right so so far these are the five shades that i have swatched and they all look so beautiful the first shade is called extreme burgundy on the second row and this one, ooh, this is a beautiful, like, pigmented, rich, nice crease color. Next, we have Divine Dusk. And it looks very similar to Eleganza, but it's definitely a little bit deeper. Ooh, yes, I love this too. Like, this is perfect for, like, a nice night out and just a nice dark um, plum smoky eye. Next, we have Rose Seduction, which is a beautiful bold pinky magenta gorgeous so you all see this pigment like this is so pretty so full of pigment i love it i was looking a little bright so i had to fix the color on my camera so anyways this is what they look like so pretty then we have vr sextra terrestrial now this shade my girl this shade girl is what really made me want to get this palette like do you see the dimension in this shade? Like this shade is like purple, but then it's blue, but then it's green. It's everything. Pomegranate did what she had to do with this shade because girl, this shade is everything. And the last shade is called Astral Pink Moon. And it's basically a beautiful champagne shade in the palette. And it's a little bit different in terms of formula than the other shades. Oh my gosh. Let me hide my ashy elbow, but... <laughs> Um, this shade is so pretty. I'm trying to hide my ashy elbow so y'all don't see it and judge me. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Wow. I am loving every single shade. So I'm going to give you guys a better view of the shades. They look so pretty. I love every single shade. Uh, this one right here, my favorite. I love the gold. So pretty. This, uh, beautiful color right here. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am so excited to play around with this eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna use a naked blush and I'm gonna pop this right in my crease and start blending this in. This is such a beautiful color. I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of Extreme Burgundy just because it's deeper and I wanna definitely try it out. Ooh, this is super pretty. Honestly, you only need a little drop of these shades because they're super pigmented. You don't need a lot at all, just a tiny bit. And just blend it in. You, you gotta understand I'm gonna use a flat eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna take the shade Very Sextras Terrestrial and oh my gosh, girl, this is pretty. Wow. 
Wow, like I've never seen this much dimension on my eyelid before. Like coming all out of one eyeshadow. This is so, this is so beautiful. Like so beautiful. <laughs> I love this. How did you do this? I've used dual chrome shadows before, but this is more than a dual chrome. This is like very sextra terrestrial. <laughs> Do y'all see that? Like, wow. I'm so happy I got this palette because I was kind of debating it. I kind of debated it for like literally a second, but then I was like, nah, I need this. Like this shade is so popping. Like I've never seen a shade like this before and it's so pretty. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Champagne Astral Pink Moon shade. Add a little bit of champagne in my in my inner corner. This shade is so pretty. This one is beautiful. We're gonna take Naked Blush once again and just bring that down here a little bit and blend it out. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of Extreme Burgundy. We're gonna take Extreme Burgundy and just add a little bit of that. This is the first eyeshadow palette that I have purchased in a while. So I just threw on these lashes that I have been really obsessed over. I know they're super dramatic, but I'm really into this dramatic lash look lately. I just love it. So anyways, we're gonna do some bronzer and I figured I would use Prime Beauty bronzer. I'm trying to use a little bit more black owned makeup just because I feel like it's important to, you know, invest in black owned products. So this is from Prime Beauty and it's in the shade Bronzeville. So we're gonna just put this on my cheeks and just bronze it up. This one I actually love a lot and I don't use it as often as I should. I feel like I always forget I have it, but it's really beautiful. So just put this everywhere, looks amazing. For blush, I'm gonna use the Patricia Bright and Revolution Makeup uh, Little Palette. I'm gonna use the Dusk Till Dawn and use this blush. I usually wear these colors in the winter, but since the eye look is more on the um, purple burgundy side, I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna use Max Lip Liner in the shade Cork. For my lips, I'm also gonna use a MAC lipstick in the shade Cherish. Only cause it was literally right in front of me. <laughs> and I wanna do something nude, so I'm gonna use that. And then I'm gonna top it with this Pat McGrath lip gloss in the shade Flesh, um, Flesh Astral. I'm gonna take my MAC powder and I'm gonna set under my eye with it. And then lastly, we're gonna use some highlight. This is Jackie Ina and Artist Couture highlight. And this one is La Browns. So we're gonna just add a little bit of this. This is the finished look, you guys. I obviously love this palette, if you couldn't tell. I do love it, and I hope you guys pick it up because I know you love it as well. I hope you liked the tutorial. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.